Well, we're, we're greeting people. Yes. So. <laughs> Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Les. I'm Les Thomas of Maximum Win. And I'm Chris Merritt of Beyond Strength Performance. And we're going to have a sit, talk about business and the tale of freedom seat. Sounds good. There we go. <laughs> So the, the other day you were talking about when you started your business, something that inspired you to do that. Maybe you could talk a little bit about that. I have worked for, I, I've been a personal trainer, strength coach, whatever you want to say, uh, for 15 years now. Uh, it'll be 15 years in December um, since I went through my first course and got certification and then went on to college from there. Uh, worked in a number of different settings and everywhere that I worked, um, I don't know, I, I, I had my opinions of how I thought things could be done better. And uh, eventually it was just like, hey, maybe you should open your own thing and <laughs> stop being critical of everyone else. And what's, what's cool is that when you do that, you learn that you don't know what you don't know when you're being critical of everyone else. So don't take what I said as like working for other places and, and saying like I thought things should be done differently is that I was never connecting <laughs> and appreciate the experiences I had. I, I took amazing things from every single place I worked and. Uh, much of that was the very first place that I was, the, the awesome, wonderful trainers there kind of taking me under their wing um, before I was technically even a trainer. And I kind of had this own personal self, you know, transformation through weights and was like, oh, that's what I want to do. At the same time, this is definitely the avenue for me. I like, I like designing and creating and it's when I'm kind of put into a box and like do this exactly as I say which now it's like, you know, that, that's part of having a business and creating systems, you want other people to do that. I can't be in that seat that is do this, if that makes sense. Yeah. I knew that at a really young age, um, I think, and I don't remember exactly, like my, my mom would ever watch that, no, it wasn't that, but it was a really young age that I wasn't a bad student, but I wasn't the best student. I had this odd awareness of, I'll do this and I'll be fine. Like, I'm not gonna obsess over the rest of it and didn't really care for school too much huge on education, like self-education, not a fan of formal education, if that makes sense, as someone that has a degree. At a very young age, I said to my mom when she was like worried about something with school, and I was like, oh, it's okay, I'm never gonna have a regular job, I'm never gonna work for someone. So there was kind of this self-awareness, but that's not like where my passion lies, that I think was just more knowing myself, but my passion lies, and, and ultimately why we have Beyond Strength Performance is more in finding like a self-transformation through weight training, and wanting to share that with others, which is what ultimately led me to get my first certification, decided to switch to go exercise science, and as the people say, the rest is history. 